What is going on you guys, Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm gonna to show you another trick here. Uh, this trick today is gonna to show you how to change the nudge amount. So basically nudge amount allows you to move in increments of one and 10 by default. So as you can see here, I'm holding down option to get the distance between the element I have selected and its parent frame, which is set to 16 pixels from the left of its parent frame. And uh, typically when you move it over, you're moving by increments of one. And I like to move in bigger increments because typically I don't have to move it in increments of one. So what I like to do is go into the preferences and you can access the preferences by the preferences of the nudge amount by selecting command comma and you'll get all the preferences as well. And you can see what's highlighted, I mean selected and not selected. And uh, the last menu item is what you want to select, which is nudge amount. And once you select nudge amount, you'll notice that I have my settings inverted, but this is this is the desired settings you want, um, but typically it's set to one and 10. So by default, it's set to one and 10, as you can see here. So if I hold down shift, it'll move by increments of 10, which is the big nudge, which is shift and then the key you select to move in it, the desired direction you're trying to go in. And then the small nudge is just, of course, selecting the arrow keys and moving in increments of one as opposed to holding down shift. But I'm lazy and I don't like holding shift, so I just change it from 10 to one and now I don't have to hold down shift and I can move it in increments of increments of 10. But if I want to move it, say I want to move it for some random crazy reason in increments of 200, you can also do that too. This, so I can, I can move it in increments of 200 and then if I hold down shift, I'll move in increments of one. And that is my tip of the day, folks, for Figma. Let me know if you found this video helpful. If not, uh, let me know as well in the comments section. And if you need another video, leave a comment as well. And uh, yeah, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.